It is Wednesday, July 10th. Good morning and welcome to THG Network. This is Mervyn Henley. This edition of THG is powered by Carl and Sons on St. Martin with three locations on the island, in Cold Bay, on the Punfield, and at the St. Martin Medical Center. If this is your first time here with us this morning, I ask that you please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you be kept abreast on what's happening in and around you, especially this being the hurricane season that goes up until November 30th. We always have the latest in the weather systems. Very important for you to subscribe to our channel. Viewers and listeners, this morning I will do something very different. Those of you in Nevis and St. Kitts, you'll understand. But those of you in the Caribbean, you may not know of her. But I'm sure by the time I'm finished with this tribute, you will know of her. A great lady who passed away yesterday. And I can tell you that it was shocking. Shocking for me and devastating because she was not only one of my dearest teachers, but she was also my neighbor. And so you can imagine that feeling. So today I will be speaking about an educator, a former principal education officer on Nevis, a former teacher. She has taught thousands of us. And I'm speaking about Jennifer Hodge, who passed away yesterday. And when I heard the news of her passing, there were so many thoughts and memories that raced through my head. Just like many of you, I thought about the last time I saw her and the last time I spoke to her. Although decades have passed since we all sat in her class, that feeling we had when she greeted us back then was not faded a bit from our collective memories. Mrs. Hodge strived relentlessly to guide us toward a special understanding of how much life could be contained in written words. And she worked very hard at teaching us how to make sure that our own written words were filled full of that life. To a casual observer visiting her classroom for a brief period, her teaching style may not have seemed much different than that of other teachers in nearby classrooms. But anyone who just spent a few extra class cycles with her could not help but begin to notice what the highest level of teaching excellence looked like. She had a delivery that was both gentle and powerful at the same time. She had command of the classroom and had control of every student's attention span. Her ability to accomplish this was not due to the class being populated with perfectly reared and well-behaved children. It was rooted in a style she had of making every lesson incredibly interesting and profoundly important to each and every one of us. Many of us who may have slouched in geography or snoozed in chemistry seemed to acquire an unexpected second win as soon as it was her time to teach. Those of us who yawned in math and daydreamed in science sat up straight in Mrs. Hodges' classroom, and we absorbed as much as we could from this teacher, who we all respected so very much, perhaps because she showed so much respect for each of us. But what put Mrs. Hodge head and shoulders above the rest? What puts her in a league of her own was an unmatched level of kindness, a truly loving spirit and the heart of an angel. This lady could instill a measure of confidence in those who had absolutely no confidence. This teaching angel could calm a struggling student with unscripted encouragement from a very natural ability that was really seen in others. I truly believe that she was capable of moving a person's perception of themselves further along a positive path in just one school year than most of us mere mortals can do for someone else's self-confidence in a decade. This was not a skill she was trained in. This was indeed just an artful display of her genetically coded talent rooted in a heart of pure gold, not just for her students, but for her former colleagues, her teachers. We all saw something very special in her because she made us all feel like she saw something very special in each of us. Everyone has thought at one time or another that Mrs. Hodge loved English and literature more than anything else in life. It certainly appeared that way to all of her students because of the enthusiastic level of energy she put into helping us grasp certain concepts and master important skills. But I think we were all wrong. What Mrs. Hodge really loved more than anything else in this world, sitting all around you right now, what she treasured most in life was her family, her friends, her students. Above all, she valued the relationships she had with each and every person 
that was a part of her life. More than anything else, she loved being a mother. But no matter how skillful a teacher she was, no matter how patient and how kind she was with us as students, no matter how much energy she put into making us the best readers and writers we could possibly be, and no matter how much she loved this artful craft that she so tirelessly and expertly taught to so many of us, Mrs. Hodge touched some of our hearts in very special ways that we can never, ever, accurately or fully explain with the mere tools of these earthly written words. Only a heavenly-based language is capable of conveying that message. So she has taught many of us. She has guided many of us, many teachers. When she was principal education officer, she transformed the Department and Ministry of Education. Our students are better off because of the work, the sweat, the tears by Miss Jennifer Hodge. My neighbor will be missed. She was an amazing woman, an amazing, incredibly amazing woman. And to her family, I extend my deepest condolences and be assured that in these times, you may not have the answers. You may be asking a lot of questions right now, but you can be rest assured that Mrs. Hodge, Jennifer Hodge, I know for sure she's at a better place right now, smiling down on us. And may she rest in eternal peace. Jennifer Herbert Hodge, we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, do join me again tomorrow morning, God's willing, at 6 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. With this time, I hope it will be on a better note. But this is a, a good note in terms of making this tribute to a wonderful woman. But hopefully I can bring some news um, to you tomorrow morning, God's willing. Take care of yourselves. Love each other. Cherish each other. This is not the time to take things for granted. This is not the time to take those you love for granted. Because just like that, just like that, life is a vapor. May God continue to bless us and may we continue to live at peace with each other. That is it. Take care of yourselves. Arlinson's have been serving the people of St. Martin for over 40 years. And the food and service get better and better. From early morning, customers flock to the bakery for their favorite sandwiches, cakes, pastries, you name it. First thing at mornings and last thing at afternoons, folks rush to Carl & Sons for simply the best. There are two locations, Cole Bay and on the Pondville. In Cole Bay, the opening hours are Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Saturdays, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Sundays, 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Opening hours on the Pondville, Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 6.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. We also cater for weddings, parties, special events, whatever the occasion. It's Carl and Sons. Our staff, we are always happy to serve you. Call us today, the Colby location, 721 544-2462 That's 721-544-2462 Or in Phillipsburg 721-543-1059 That's 721-543-1059 It's Carl and Sons Bakery We are here to serve you Nevis, satisfy your sweet tooth at Feezer's, the cozy spot in Charlestown, known for its mouth-watering ice cream and dal parade. We are open Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come in and sample our patties, sandwiches, air fried wings with fries, hot dogs, rotis, and now our famous smoothies, in all flavors, of course. And don't forget to try the famous bus of shut and saltfish. It's Feezer's. Located at the entrance to the Cotton Jewelry Mall in Charlestown, Nevis. They are also available by phone. So place your order by calling 1-869-665-2458. Don't ask about the rest. Just try the best.